This video, I'm going to show the settings menu, what all it has, and how to um, how to pretty much uh, adjust the app to fit the performance capabilities of whatever device it is that you are trying to run it on. So, inside the main home screen here on the app, you see a row on top next to the date. Here you can look at your account details, see when your expiration date is, how many connections you're allowed to have, and your account status. Here is the settings. So here you can go to general settings and you can change things like subtitles and by default, it's set to auto start on boot up. So every time you do, you restart your device, this is going to be the first app that pops up automatically. You can turn this off by unchecking it and then going to save changes. Then it won't automatically boot into this app upon the first boot up of your device. Here you can change your parental control. Enter your password, create one to start off and then go in and then you can go to the whatever category you want to disable or any adult click OK on it or touch it and then lock it and then it won't be there anymore when you go into the categories and if you want to unlock it just go to it again and unlock it You don't have to save changes, it's just back out and it goes. Okay, so now how to adjust your player settings for performance. So every device is different. The app doesn't know what device it's being installed on. So you it's by default on software decoder. So you can turn on hardware decoder to let whatever device it is that you're using to try to decode all the um, the graphics and things like that you know if you have a, a powerful device you know that'll probably work smoother um, native is also an option um, I've heard people who have low power devices like a fire stick um, use native and it makes it work smoother there's less jittery less lagginess uh, when you're watching things so just go in here play with the different settings and see what works best for your particular device it's impossible for me to know what will work best for you because everybody's device is different pretty much and just got to see what works best for you it's an individual thing player selection you can use outside video players that you download from the store. Um, MX Player is a very high quality player. Um, the picture looks a lot sharper, uh, more proportionate, and just very clear. And so if you want to download that at secondary player, you can do so, and you can choose it to be the um, choose it to be the main player by default and then save the changes and if you don't already have it on your system you can download it from the store or when you actually go to a channel you can hold down your finger on the channel or if you're on a box you can hold down the OK button and then go and play with MX player and if you don't already have it it'll tell you do you want to download it so. so that's how you get MX player if you don't already have it That's pretty much it for things that 
people would need in the settings menu um, there's not really much that has to be messed with in here other than those things that I've already mentioned so that's pretty much it those are the basic things that people would need in the settings